Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 18Q. So it says open the database you saved, that you saved at the end of uh, task 18P. Okay, produce a report. This time a report, not a query. Okay, produce a report that shows all of the cars made by Ford. Displays only the make, model, color, S price, extras, and valet fields within the width of a landscape page okay so i'm going to take these two questions first of all and then come to the rest of them okay so the first thing i want to do i want to use the sniping tool to enable me just underline the questions i've treated okay so first of all we're going to look at this so for the ford uh for the cars made by ford i'm going to use um the task that we've we've done in uh, 18h that's 18h okay because it already has all the make uh, as Ford, okay? So you can watch the video, uh, or you can watch the uh, task 18H video to be able to know how to get to this point, okay? The description of the video is down below. Also, that's the link for the video is down below. And also you can see a link up here also for for the video, okay? So um, so if you go to design, you find out that we've done that, okay? So I'm going to use that query for the report okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to go to create and then from uh, the report section i'm going to click on report wizard okay so by virtue of clicking it first it's going to select the table the, the table here so uh the query sorry so because we're going to base this report on a query all right before you create a report you must always it's advised that you create what a query because your Report will be based on query. Okay, so um, so by virtue of clicking it already here, so it is already it has already selected the query that I want, which is the 18H. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to select all the fields that are needed. Okay, all the fields that are needed, which are the model, I mean the make, model, color, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is simply to select the model, color. S price, uh, I don't think EA is there. EA is not there, so I'm going to click on extras and then valley. Okay, so which so we're going to go to the next extras and valley. Yeah, that's quite correct. So we move to the next. So there's no grouping here. They never say that we should we're going to uh, group anything. So I'm going to just uh, go next. No, um, I don't think there's any form of uh, arrangement of ascending or descending order. So we're going to just uh, move ahead. Okay, here, uh, make sure you, you click, I mean, you, yeah, you click on a tabular form. That is the, um, the query. So I'm going to leave it like this. And then also from the question also, we know that it has to be landscape. Okay, it has to be what? Landscape page. So I'm going to simply click on landscape here. Always check this uh, box here okay to adjust the uh, the field width so as to have um to fit on a single page is very very important because it's going to help you arrange automatically arrange the field in such a way that it will be easy for you to um to print okay so we go on um here what i'm going to do normally you can put you can have the title which is already here the title of uh, the, the report here all right but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the title when I'd already finished the report. Okay, when I already already finished. So what I'm going to do here is to, I'm going to save this as I'm going to have the title here as um, report here, just for for record purposes. So the name of my query as object will also take automatically take this um, name. So I'm going to have a task 18Q right here. So it will tell me that it's a report which is created, you know, on um, for 18, 18 Q. Sorry. So I'm going to click on modify the report design, okay, and then click on finish. So as you can see, a report has been created with that with that same title. As, as you can see, the name of the object here is still the name of the report here. So what I'm going to do is to change the name of the report here to be able to answer this particular question. So all Ford, all Ford cars in stock. Okay, so I'm going to have it as, as a title. Okay, so 
I will remove this guy, just select it, and then all Ford cars in stock. Okay, so that would take care of that. Uh, let me see the question again. Stock center align at the top of the first page. Okay, okay, so we're going to center align that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is simply extend this guy a little more, and then of course the control is already selected. So I'm going to go to property sheet where is text alignment. Yeah, you're here. This general I need is center align. So that was center align the text. Also want the text to be black. Where is the font for color? Something like that. Okay, that's that's it right here. Okay, let me just choose this and then I have I want you I always like it to be black. Okay. So let me just close this for a in time so I'll be able to see my way. Okay, so um, so that's that's it for that. So which means that the one I just underlined now, I think that has been taken care of the the landscape done and then all forward. So the next thing is to have uh, has the text report by and your name on the left in the header of the of each page okay so it has to be left okay at the header of each page so which means i have to have report by okay okay so uh, on each page uh, header of the each page okay 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 now I, I get it now one thing now i want you to understand here is this report header this report header anything you put in here will appear on on the heading the first um page okay for the page header anything you put here just as the, this model anything you put here just like uh, these he headers here they will appear on every page okay in this page header for the details the details will contain the um, what's it called the all the models or whatever you know the, the data as a matter of fact okay and then the page footer will, the page footer anything you put within the page footer will appear on every page okay the page header i mean the report footer sorry the report footer, footer will appear on the last page of um you know of a report something like that okay so this is just like a, a run through of all what they do so you can go ahead to also research to be sure of what they do okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to the page header because i want my name uh my name to appear which which uh, I want this text, which is a report by so 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 your name. I want it to to appear on every page. Okay, so it has to appear on each page, right? So what I'm gonna do, just go back there, uh, move this a little bit down. Okay, then hold down your hold down your uh, as you select one control, hold down your control key, and then select the rest of the control yeah make sure you select the valid too we're gonna adjust all those later on okay so i'm going to just move them down a little bit just a little bit just to give me space to have um under control so um, i will simply maybe click outside or something and then uh, have this uh, click on this label and then i uh, click here and then Okay, should I even just okay? Let me just uh, extend extend it to the to the right here. Okay, so I'm going to have um, I'm going to have um, what was that what was that um, text right there? Let me see. I'm going to have report by my name. Okay, so I'm going to have here report. Sorry. Reports by my name. My name is uh, Kechuku Anolefo. Anolefo. Nice. So this is what I'm going to have here. So already it's supposed to be. Let me let me let me know the um the alignment. So it's supposed to be left aligned. So it's already in order. But I'm still going to make sure make it default. Okay. So that's that's it right there. So I'm going to still select it. And then make sure it is left aligned. So I don't even need all these, uh, all these 
to extend okay so what i'm going to do is simply go to you know the control has to be selected go to property sheet and then go to alignment text line i want it left i want it to remain left and then of course the four color has to be black just to make sense right i uh, hope it's okay let me just adjust that mm, i think it's cool the way it is okay so let me just check what i've done let me see how it looks like so as you can see reports by cage corner level so i think uh, it's making sense a little bit now everything's coming together so i'll go back to design view oh sorry let me just go back to design view uh, let me close that let me close that let me just go back to design view again <coughs> from uh, this uh where's my design view good go back there close this guy off and then continue with the question so this is done right and then the next thing okay this is done to center aligned of course so the last the last thing we're going to do here has a suitable sorry has a subtitle request for mr david watson right align at the top of the first page so we're not going to put this in um the page the page header because whatever that is in here will, play, uh, will appear on every page so we're going to have it on the what the report what header so it can appear it can appear on the first on the on the um, start of the first page something like that okay so what i'm going to do just go go to the label choose it again and then have um let me just create it right uh here okay so a situation where you don't have this you can extend by holding down this can extend the the report footer down a little bit to have space okay so i'm going to have um is it report by okay let me just be sure from doing request for mr david watson okay so let me go back there again and then write request i'm so sorry guys i don't know why i'm so clumsy this time around request for what the heck let me just know <laughs> Request for Mr. David Watson. What am I forgetting? For Mr. David Watson. Yeah, so that's about it. So I don't think they did. Uh, there was no indication of the font size and all that. So you shouldn't bother about some of those, okay? You shouldn't bother about the font size and all that, okay? So um, I can click on, it, on that again. Um, yeah, I can click on this. Let me just adjust this a little bit down i hope it takes it down nice okay so i'm going to click on the control and then go to property view again and then of course uh, text alignment i'm going to align it to right am i correct it's supposed to be right maybe sure right aligned at the top of each okay nice stuff good stuff good stuff good stuff so uh, the next thing i'm going to do probably make it black just in case the where is four color? Yeah, four color. I make it black. Okay. Where's what I'm doing? Where are you? Okay, good stuff. So I think that's about it here. So let me just go to the report view and see how it looks like. So um, all all elements are all looking good. All four cars in st in stock and everything. So the only thing that the only problem we're having here is that the data is not showing properly. Okay. So as you can see the valley some things are not showing properly so i'm going to go to the layout view okay layout view that's where you can adjust some of these okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, click on uh, what's it called make and then hold control key down and then click on the ford and then um, move them a little bit in okay and uh, the same thing here so i'm going to still hold down control key and then move them a little bit down making sure that every data is showing so hold on control again and then move it a little a little in again and then the same thing with um price so in fact the next thing i'm going to do in fact, let me just adjust this a little bit so i'll hold on control key just move them in fact so let me just move this this a tiny bit oh sorry <laughs> i have all of them selected so let me just select only this and then move it a tiny bit further here 
so I can align with this. Okay, so I'm going to move down, move it a little bit. Okay, so let me, let me just move it down a little bit. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, fair enough here. So I'll just do the same thing with this guy. Just move it a little bit to the left, and then also with. Uh, let me adjust the uh, S price a little bit, and then um, move it again and then the same thing with this I move it to the left again and then adjust the width the width also just to be sure that it contains all the data as you can see on this one is not containing that well so I'm going to keep adjusting till I'm sure that everything is contained which is good let me just scroll down and see yeah, everything is contained so we're good so then, then the, the last one I'm going to look at is the valley the valley has to show everything hold on your control key again and then adjust it ah uh, this valley is not showing the way I like it so what I'm going to do um probably go to the oh, what I do okay I'll I will adjust that so I will center align this okay so um, would the format uh, design give me uh, the property good? So I have the property sheet here, so I can actually center align this. Let me see text align mm, center. I need that right there. So it's going to center align it so it can look a little bit better. So I think I think everything is cool now. I think we are good to go. Okay. So if I go to my um, report view right now so everything is going to look cool okay so this is it so i think i think everything is done here our data is well represented and everything is looking good okay so if, so if you have any question you can uh, leave a comment down below okay let me see again from the question that we've done everything so I've, i think everything has been done so you in the examination you can just go ahead to print this okay so i think our presentation everything is well done so you can of course go ahead to print if you want to print okay so you can go ahead to print you can do your print preview and see how it's going to look like when you're printing blah blah okay so thank you so much for watching and uh, look out for the next video i will see you guys in the next video and have a wonderful day bye